The humans call me baseball. I call them humans. They also say that I am an inanimated object, and that is true. However, what they cannot say is that I have not their same sensations and emotions, that I have no memory. Some of them think that, some of them do not. As the proud inanimated object that I am, I agree with those who attribute me sentient and humanize my traits. I think that it is a centrally human way of understanding the world, and that it does have a useful and important role in art and literature. Without us, the objects, the stories would lack vibrancy, and without stories, the objects would lack significance. Behind each object, there are memories, not only the memories that the objects bring to humans, but also the memories that the same objects own. Therefore, our memory system is much more complex and confusing than the humans, since it mixes both human and objects' memories. Both systems help each other. The human memory helps us to build our own, giving us data, and pictures we have never experienced physically. As far as I remember, I was born in Los Angeles, California in the early 60s. A period of changes, confusion, and social revolution. The racial tension could be felt in some areas. One day, a black guy and white police officer were arguing for some stupid traffic reason, and it turned into a riot of five days. Cutted shells of buildings, flames raging out of control, and an atmosphere of apprehension still hover over the quieting Watts section of Los Angeles. Here for successive days and nights, mostly in the nights, the long hot summer had erupted into violence. Powerless against snipers, looters, and arsonists operating in the dark, police and National Guardsmen had tried mostly to confine the disorder to the 42 square miles of this area. But as the outbreaks abated here, they started up in other communities, some nearby, some as far away as Chicago and Springfield, Massachusetts. On the other hand, physically beyond all this, I was witnessing days of glory and success for the Los Angeles Dodgers. All the memories of these days are disordered and clear at the same time. How many hands? How many flights? How many stadiums? How many grains of sand? How many sensations and emotions? How many memories? How might I forget these feelings? 
the smell of the grass, the excitement of the crowd, the different texture of each hand, and the pleasant softness of a leather mint. The velocity through the wind and the air, the painful but satisfying hit of the bat, how all these sensations might disappear. The sensation of the players, the sound of their breathing, and the conversations between them. I always wonder what I was to all the people that appear in these memories, to the people that have ever contacted with me. I wonder how they see me, how they think of me. Yeah, to many of them I am simply an inanimated baseball. However, also exist to those who explore the difference between the ordinary, proper, and true appearances of things to them, and the extraordinary or false appearances when they are under the influences of emotion or contemplative fancy. I see the days passing by from an antique shop these days, hoping that perhaps some of these humans who see beyond my shape and materiality will take me to a new place, a place for new images and new memories.